This video is on the addition of hydrogen halides to carbon-carbon double and triple bonds. Hydrogen halides are an excellent source of a proton, or a good electrophile, and a halide, a decent nucleophile. When you mix a hydrogen halide with an alkene, the alkene will act as a nucleophile towards the proton to form a carbocation and the halide will then act as a nucleophile to complete the addition. If you start with a symmetrical alkene, it does not matter on which carbon you put the proton and which carbon you put the halide. You're going to form one product, as long as we ignore stereochemistry, of course. On the other hand, if we start with an asymmetrical alkene, we would expect to form two products. However, only one product forms. Why is this? Well, if we look at the mechanism, we can clearly see that we can't form a primary carbocation and therefore we cannot form this particular product. This quirk in regioselectivity can be summed up by the Markovnikov rule. Markovnikov rule states that the proton will add to the carbon with most hydrogens and the halide will bond to the carbon with fewer hydrogens. For example, what will be the product of this reaction? Indeed, the proton will add to the 1 position and the bromide will add to the 2 position. Just like the Zaitsev rule, the Markovnikov rule is an empirical rule. It was derived from experimental data before theories were proposed. Or in other words, expected to practically always be true. What that also means though is that it's not really an explanation, it's just a predicting factor. So if you want to explain it, you would have to start arguing that, well, you're always forming the most stable carbocation and the most stable carbocation will form when your electrophile is added to the less substituted carbon because your carbocation will form on the more substituted carbon. Sound like mumbo jumbo? If so, stick to the Markovnikov rule. Now you have a go. What would be the products of these reactions? You may pause now. And here are the answers. The addition of a hydrogen halide to an alkene can be either syn addition or anti addition. Syn addition, we will see a proton and a chlorine add to the same face, of course in a two-step procedure, whilst anti-addition will occur when the proton adds to one face and the chloride adds to the other. So, what would be the product of this reaction if the addition were to be syn? Make sure to show stereochemistry in your product. You may pause now. And here's the answer. As mentioned in the previous video, the fact that the mechanism goes via a carbocation implies that the same rules are going to apply as in SN1. Well, one of the things we had to look out for were rearrangements, as once we form a carbocation, there may be time for a rearrangement to occur to form a more stable carbocation. For example, in this reaction, we will see a product that does not necessarily resemble the starting material. If we draw the mechanism, we can see that a 1,2 methyl shift is occurring to form a tertiary carbocation, and this allows us to explain the product. Now you have a go. Show the mechanism of how we are able to obtain this product from this reaction. You may pause now. And here's the answer. Finally, the addition of halogen acids is also possible on triple bonds. The mechanism is just the same, except in this case, after one addition, we still end up with a double bond. This double bond can further react if we have excess hydrogen halide, and therefore a double addition of hydrogen halide is also possible to yield us with vesinol, or geminal dihalides.
Now you have a goal. What would be the products of the following reactions? You may pause now. And here are the answers.